I saw this wig and I had to have it, you guys. An RPG show did not disappoint. It is their 17th year anniversary and they've been bringing consistent quality and excellence. So I was more than happy to go grab another wig. And this one is just, it says summer. The highlights, the ombre effect is so gorgeous. The hairline impeccable, like look at these knots. Of course, you got plenty of parting space in her. It is a 13 by six. You can pretty much rock it glueless. It is a very good fit, but I do choose to add a little bit of, you know, extra holds. I wanna make sure I could flip it back and, and not have anything lifting. And in the back, there is a section of lace for my ladies who like to lift up the hair into other styles. This does give you a little flexibility for that, but uh, I wanna make sure I cut it off first because I am known to leave that piece on. It happens to us all. And then I'm also gonna be removing that comb on the bottom, just because that one can tend to irritate me. But if you do want a little bit more protection and security, then you can use that comb to like kind of stick underneath the wig grip headband. That will help keep the bottom part of your wig in place. So it's up to you guys which one you prefer. She did come in a little light body wave and it was super cute, but I like that it wasn't a really deep wave. So you definitely have the flexibility to either curl it up some more or straighten her out a bit. But just look at the hairline. RPG never disappoints. Always, always a super natural and effortless hairline. Like I don't like when it's too overly plucked and this to me is just the perfect mixture. For my ladies who are nervous about the, cutting the lace, don't worry about getting it all perfect the first time. Go ahead and give yourself some room for error because I always tend to go back and tweak it a little bit here and there. You may find some spots you want to cut later, so don't worry about it. Just get enough lace removed for you to see the hairline clearly and for you to feel comfortable with just kind of styling and moving on. You can always get more later. For me, the most important is just focusing on the flaps because that's the part that will lift on you before anything else. So making sure that that looks good and fits your face shape. For me, I always wanna cut a little bit more off on the flap. It kind of goes past my ear more than I like. So I would spend most of your time tweaking that area because if it's not rubbing or irritating your ear, then you're gonna have a perfect install. As you can see, she's already given a nice glueless fit from temple to temple. Really all you need is a little bit something on the ear tabs. You don't need anything crazy, no heavy adhesive. A little bit of hairspray will do, but you all know I love my Go Glueless, so that's what I'm gonna work with today. But just look at that, like if you really wanted to, you don't even have to put anything just leave a little half up half down and you could rock it as is but i'm going to go in with a heat protectant spray if you're using any kind of tools please 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 always protect your wigs so that way you can keep them looking nice so much longer uh this is really only my second time using this brush but i do like it for like a traditional um styling method because I don't know, hot tools can be a lot to work with, especially if you're already wearing the unit, you don't wanna be worrying about burning yourself. And I feel like this brush gives you easier control, while also not giving you a lot of the heat damage. So I chose to go for more of a blowout look, 
let me know down below which one you prefer if you liked the original kind of soft body wave style or the blown out. Now their wax stick is definitely a must for me. Like I've never put on a wig without swiping this across my head, especially if you're changing up the parting. You will definitely have a couple little pieces that just do not want to behave. So that definitely helps you out without making the hair look sticky. Look at those gorgeous face framing highlights. Like to me, that was just the extra touch that took it over the edge. Like the way that they style their wigs is amazing. You don't have to do anything to her. You just cut the lace, style it how you like, and you're good to go. No one would even tell, like it just looks so natural. I will definitely be rocking her as is with the middle part for now, but you all know I am partial to my side part, so I'll be playing around with it a little bit more. If you're not already following me on my Instagram, make sure you are because I normally do a lot more, you know, hairstyling tips and installs, how to prep it for nighttime, just everyday, you know, styling things as I get more comfortable with the wig and I play around with it. But tell me this highlight isn't gorgeous. And for me, it's just so pretty and I loved it even more blown out. For me, you can never go wrong with a no baby hair look. Like it just looks so much better. And if you have any little pieces that are kind of stuck or maybe crunchy after using the little Velcro elastic band, you can always just run your fingers through it or use a little soft brush or comb and that'll get them nice and soft and lifted just so it doesn't look, you know, too pressed down. Thank you so much RPG Show for this gorgeous wig. Again, happy 17th anniversary. Go check them out. They're definitely gonna be doing some specials. All those details will be down below if you wanna check out this wig or any of the other wigs that they have. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. RPG Show always shows out when it comes to their hairline and their styles, like the colors, everything is just perfect. I swear you won't be able to keep your hands out of it. Like I just could not stop playing around with the highlights. I was so in love. But thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.